All righty, here we go to see Wilson. Yes, sure is. Glad to see you. Yeah. Sure is. You can tell it falls in yeah, there. I like the fall. Well, he's a stupid flies. <laughs> <laughs> Come back here. Okay. Still like your new home? Oh, I love it anyway. Good. Nice. I was supposed to come back and see it back in May, and then we ended up going to Ohio, and they had to cancel it. It was supposed to be my birthday time. Oh. Just come see you. <sighs> Taping it for you? Could you please? Yep. Because mm -hmm. I've, uh -huh. I've got a brother and sister, and I was just told them non-believers, oh. and I told them some mm -hmm. of the things, and... Put the pressure on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't use your hand for a minute. I just might brush my nails up on there. Oh, you don't like to analyze, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you get a little bit more open-minded, a little bit more emotional. Mm -hmm. uh, even your deja vu or your intuition has even gotten stronger. Did you have some health issues? Yeah, well, Did you have some health issues? Uh, health issues? Did you have some? Yeah. yeah, I've had two heart attacks and three strokes. I get a scare, like something freaking woke you up or oh, yeah. finally got on the, on the program or something. Well, you, you're the analyzer, aren't you? <laughs> it works out good for you guys when you do that. It's as long as he lets you analyze what's supposed to be analyzed, and as long as you let him jump when he's supposed to jump. Uh, <laughs> when you guys try to fix each other and make him, and make, or make him try to make him analyze, mm -hmm. it'll just screw him all up. <laughs> and if he tries to make you jump, you just, he just created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little bit of a jack of all trades master of none, aren't you? Pretty much. Yes, Bo I am. Both of your moms gone? And I got like two females pumped right in there. <laughs> uh, totally opposite women. I get one a little bolder, and one's a little bit more observer, a little bit more laid back. Uh, was it Mama's Boy, but became Mama's Boy at the end? I'm sorry. Were you, mom, you weren't Mama's Boy. I don't get like. Yeah, I was the baby. Okay. As mama's boy, yeah. See, I get more, not the mama's boy, but the mama's boy at the end of her journey, at the end, as life got big older, as you got older. <laughs> so I don't know if you I, up she's up. always been, I've, I've always been the baby, you know. She's Did always, you step up to help her more at the end? Yeah. Yeah, because I get more, I get that more at the end was, um, she's looking at you different. So... You might have gone from being the baby to more of her supporter, more of her, the, the guider. Mm -hmm. um, she definitely was with you during your procedures. Um, and I see her slapping you beside the head, back of the head because, um, again, I get freaking had to scare your life and freaking woke you up and then you got onto the right program and started taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, have they already done two procedures? Three, actually. Three? Yeah. Yeah, three, I think so. So it's good, because I was going with two, and there's going to be a third one, so you yeah, already got the third one, so. Because <laughs> 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 I get like the two didn't quite do it. The third one is the one that finally got the things rolling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said you had the stroke? Yeah. You've got a good 80% better back. There's still a little bit that. Yeah. I get the memory, you know, short-term memory sort of mm -hmm. going a little bit. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, then the, the, the PT, the getting the, the, the muscle tone back and the, some of the nerve damage. Mm-hmm. Um, 
don't get like getting a lot more of that back. It's, um, I just get nerve damage. Unfortunately, you don't know, mean to be mean, but you don't have enough time on this earth for all those nerves to regenerate. Yeah. <laughs> it takes years. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, I'm going five years, I can move the fingers now. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah. it's been 20, 20 years now. I had the stroke. I got to say, then it's what he's got is what you're 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 getting. Yeah. Um. Everything seems to be running good though. You know, I get like the the blood's flowing good, the heart's you know. Um, I like some of the medication you're on, but I feel like we got you on too much. Always. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that is stops them. Uh, they put me on something making me tired, and I just quit it. <laughs> I just get like some of it is counteracting me with the other ones. They're just, um, and I don't like some of the side effects. So yeah. I almost want to sit down with the pharmacist and say, explain this to me. <laughs> yeah. Some of those doctors, they just. Here's a pill. Mm -hmm. Well, your mom is still there. She's still uh, in your corner. <laughs> was your mom that was more bolder? No, not really. She was more laid back. Yeah, yeah. more like. My mom's kind of forward and bolder. <laughs> Would she have the chest area problems of breathing? Okay. My mother? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're getting to be more and more like her, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am. I turned into my mom. Um, I got to say, her, the chest area, the breathing, um, a little bit of hereditary, and a little bit of own doing, because mm -hmm. uh, I get it, like you inherited some of that. So um, you got to watch the breathing, ammonia, bronchitis. Mm -hmm. um, so even though your mom was easygoing, she was a little bit bullheaded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very. Uh, not like her, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very. <laughs> so if you start getting a little bit of a, a cough or starting to get a little bit of a twinge, you know, get on the medication or get, you know, get, nip it in the butt mm -hmm. for you to wait too long. Again, like your mother, do as I say, not as I say. <laughs> you bitch and preach to everybody else about taking care of themselves, and you don't take care of yourself. <laughs> Has somebody passed recently? Yes. Because I get the welcome home sign. The what? Welcome home sign. Mm-hmm. Is that like a brother? A brother-in-law? My mother just passed. Away. Oh, your mother. Okay. That's why I was waiting. Why? Right. Because I want... I got that welcome home. I want to know about her. How she's doing. Oh, she's been telling you how it's showing up here already, so she's definitely doing good. I, I feel like I was ready. I was tired. I had, you know, it was it was time for me to go. Because her quality was getting less and less. Mm -hmm. I still feel pretty sharp, so her mind was still mm -hmm. right there, right to the, um, you know, right to the bitter end. Mm -hmm. It's just my body was getting weaker and weaker. Dad was already there? Yeah. I gotta say there's another male man or two. A younger man. Is there a brother that's passed? <coughs> she had a, a partner uh, that lived with her and he got cancer and passed. Okay, because I get met up both <coughs> with the two men. Yeah, James. <laughs> is the other I man. get him more to her side than above her. 
Oh, that makes sense. Okay. To her side, me, to me, be husband or brother. So it was your brother was like she's telling me the guy to her side. So it'd be the boyfriend there. She didn't. Want, no, she's a companion. I don't feel like calling him boyfriend. I feel like companion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I want to make that very clear of that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he was her companion. I, I get that again, that big thank you, thank you, thank you for being there, guiding or helping her through her and of her journey, because um, she knows very well that you weren't the energy or had the health issues for you to step up with a lot for you to do. She was scared to death that you were going to die. Mm -hmm. That was, you know, her biggest fear of her, you dying or one of her kids before she did. Yep. So, um, but she's definitely telling you she's there, still there. She's bold. So, I mean, I'm not getting any parlor tricks from her. It's like when you feel her presence, that's how she comes through. That that's the thing. I've not felt her since she I bet you. Have you sat there all the time she popped in your head for no reason? All the time. That's her. But I had cameras at her home and I, I was sitting what waiting for mom to come back. She's not going to be she is beneath her to do a parlor trick. <laughs> she was a strong personality. Mm -hmm. That's how she's gonna come through. So when you're sitting there and all of a sudden she just pops in your head, that's Way she's gonna do it, okay. or you get overwhelmed of emotion with her, mm -hmm. like you just almost feel like she's here. Mm -hmm. That's her. Um, your mother's more. There's a nice smell, or there's a nice little. There's a this subtle mm -hmm. hint that I'm around. Your mother's not playing that game. <laughs> she wouldn't play that game in life. She's not gonna do it in death. So is she happy? Oh yeah, she's she's up and she's up kicking heels. I get like dancing and she's having a hell of a time uh, and I get the two men with her so she's having a hell of a time with your dad and the companion <laughs> not the boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> um, I get a very beautiful young lady so there's got to be she was the one in her, her, her day was. she, she was. was gorgeous yes she was uh, did not like the way she looked at the end Mm -hmm. um, and if she didn't have the casket closed, they, you cremated her. It was like no. she did, would not be on front and center show and tell. Yeah. So if you had the, if it was she, if you buried her and had her in the casket, mm -hmm. and the lid was up, yeah, she was probably not really thrilled with. <laughs> she wasn't happy with. I wasn't either. They, she had a, they, she bit on her lip all the time. She was sore, and she, she had a look on her, her face sore, that was not Dolly. And yeah. they had her frowning. Yeah, you know, I just wasn't well, happy. She was probably frowning, looking at it. That's why she wanted to close the lid. <laughs> um, but she does. She's going like that. That's that. She's not coming through like that. She's coming through as like she's like in her thirties. As I mean. Knocked out. Uh, she was gorgeous. She and yeah. she knew it. <laughs> yes, yes, and she's she, younger. She, she made some heads turn, and she knew it. And that's like you know. Um, but she's like, I'm at very at peace. You know, in a long time, because the last few years of her life, it was not all that terrible. So. Even because uh, she took care of the, the companion, yeah, she did. Yeah, that was rough. That was tough on her. That was um, yeah. not saying that your mother wasn't a very compassionate, easygoing lady, but <laughs> she wasn't that, you know, mm. catering some, taking care of someone who was not <laughs> a cup of tea. Um, so she might have had a few words in, and might have had a few times that a few. You know, son of a bitch get pissing her off, you know. <laughs> uh, 
So she's telling me that's how she's coming through, and she's not going to be no part of it. She's making it very clear to me. So any other siblings that uh, are looking to think they don't feel her presence either, tell them that's how she's coming through. Well, she's getting there because we've all had her on our mind. Yeah. You know, just, I just, man, we both just can't get over it. You know, she's always been there. Yeah. Uh, she is thrilled that you guys are all still connected. Yeah, she was worried about it. She was afraid that she was the glue, and then you guys would have went. Yeah. In all different directions. Exactly. She had everything done, everything in order? What? Everything was in order? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Was. She had oh, everything. I get, like, you, like the funeral, really, you didn't guys basically almost have to show up, and, and this is the, because she... <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're going home next week for the estate auction. She had everything taken care of. Yeah. Um, yeah, she goes, that's us, that's us materialistic crap. Yeah, because I'm not even getting no bickering or no anybody fighting over the material stuff, or I just get, you know, once it's done and over with, it's done with. It's been that way. Yeah. You? Nobody's fault. Nobody's argued. Um, I mean, you're one of the lucky ones because there's a lot of them that. Oh yeah. Even the ones you're thinking, oh my. Yeah, that's what I mean. uh, <coughs> Even the ones you think that wouldn't be that way are the ones that would be. I do get a pecking order feeling. So she, you knew you were, you were her favorite or. Uh, I don't get no bones, whether that, who was who. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't get like I hated anybody, but I definitely had them in a pecking order. Uh, that's with the in-laws and the mm -hmm. children. Uh, and she's making it very clear to me, if you had an issue with her, that was your issue, because she didn't have issues with you, with any woman. So if anybody that had issues with her, they, she didn't worry about it. Uh, and she's telling you, quit looking so damn hard to find me. You know, I'm I'm here, I'm there. Um, you don't need to see me. You don't need to hear me. You just need to know that I'm there. Is there three of you or three more of you? There's three of us all together. together. A brother and a sister? Yeah. Um, I can't. Does sister need to take care of some issues? She has some health issues going on or something she's not taking care of? Mm hmm. I just get like sticking her head in the sand is not going to make it go away. So she needs to follow through or get it taken care of. I get fix. I get fixable or getting under control or taking care of it. So not just it ain't gonna just go away. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your sister and your mom bumping heads. Uh, you're, you're like you're like a lot like turning in your mom like not your mom. Mm -hmm. Your sister's a lot like her mother, mm -hmm. like it or not. She, except your sister's mouth gets gets her in a little bit more trouble than your mom's was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your mom had a way of sugarcoating <coughs> or making it sound not as harsh. Your sister sometimes it does. It's like, oh, I can't believe she just said that. Mm -hmm. She don't felt or nothing. <laughs> uh, your brother just stands in the background? I just get the observer. I just get more. He always was. He just stepped up, you know, and, and helped. But he always just kind of stayed to the side before. 
I I don't I reason I don't feel him not the reason he's stepping up more for helping in this situation because mm -hmm. it's all been taken care of. So it's just more or less just loose ends or put a nice pretty bowl in. I gotta get everything is. He doesn't really gotta do a lot. Just oh, more supervise more. Make sure it's. Mm -hmm. um, if I had to throw it at him, say no, take care of it. He would probably would have not been the man for the job. Hmm. Um, have you got what you wanted out of the house? Or are you guys like, if you want something, you got to bid on it? No, I, pretty much we separate. I mean, there's a few things, you know, that I just happen to remember, but I said I may, you know. I keep seeing, she keeps showing me boxes of I don't know, paperwork or, and I don't know if we haven't gone through them yet. Did your sister go through them? I don't know. I don't want to throw it away. I feel like we need to go through it. I just get, I don't get nothing material fin or financially gained. I get memories. So I don't know if your mom kept, you know, the day you graduated in high school or <laughs> um, when you got out of kindergarten, you know, something really old that's been put away. I just get sentimental things that you guys want to find in these boxes. I just get papers, like yeah, she had a, files of papers or something. She had a large box full of papers that we all got out and found and put put in the box. I don't know if my sister ever went through them or not. I just hope we don't know, they don't go in the dumpsters. A lot of it needs to go into the shredder. Yeah. <laughs> but I think there's a few things you might find that just for like, holy crap, I can't believe mom kept that. But then knowing your mother, I'm not shocked. I feel like your mom wants to step up, but your mom is like, like, really wants to let you know that she's okay. Good. I don't know if you thought she got stuck somewhere or she just didn't cross over, or, uh, but she is definitely went through the process fairly quickly. Yeah. Because she's telling me, very, she had no regrets, she had no, uh, she had something to say, she said it, she, um, she has no regrets what she didn't like. Uh, <coughs> that's a good life, I was, totally she was an honest person. Mm -hmm. you know, Very so, honest. Um, and did she piss off a few people? Yeah, but she was honest. Yeah. <laughs> and she's very pleased of what she's left behind. So I don't know, like the state, with the after everything gets settled, that um, enjoy whatever you get, enjoy it. <coughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> I bought a Corvette with some of the money she had left me, and I was worried, though. Maybe she's mad at me. <laughs> maybe. No, I just get, like, enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> I've been asking that. Yes, Mom, are you upset with me? <laughs> no, I don't get that. I just get, I, she's very pleased that she was able to do that. Almost it's her legacy. Don't you freaking call that car her. That, I don't know if you named the car. Oh. <laughs> don't call that car Dolly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't name that car up. <laughs>
actually doing pretty good yourself, too, aren't you? Pardon? You're doing pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. I get friction. Is there some friction going on in the family? Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel that mending or ending. I just get, like, it's almost... Just gotta like forget about it. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Um, you're gonna change your mind. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's a sister or not or brother. Brother, but your mom's tell me you're just like their father. You're like your father. <laughs> <laughs> Get something in their head. There's not. You're not gonna change it. Um, That's why I was worried about. She's she's, she's upset that. No, she He got upset. <laughs> um, she, you know, you know, it's, it's his issues. It's he's, he just won't let it go. Mm -hmm. uh, just like his father. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she don't want you to hold you back. Stressing over, you know, like you did something wrong. Mm -hmm. She's not putting the blame on you, and she's not putting the blame on him. She's just like, it, he just won't let it die or let it heal. Mm -hmm. And every time you try to regroup or try to make it happen, it just it almost makes it worse. Mm -hmm. so, um, I just get like it's, it is what it is, and it's, why stress over it and when you ain't gonna change nothing. Is there another sibling? Yes. Is it just a three year? Mm -hmm. No, there's well my younger brother passed the long time. Okay. So there's the three of you. Three of us Because I get the triangle. Mm -hmm. So when I get that it's like you're not all three of you can't be on the same page at the same time, you know. Um but one is sort of like in between. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, I would not, is it another sister? A sister. I almost keep whatever's going on between you and the brother. I wouldn't, that with her, I wouldn't, because it puts her in the spot, so she, cause she's, he's that to her, and I just feel like, I just get that triangle feeling. Um, so why, if, if you were the sister, don't even bring the brother up. And she does sort of change the subject. Sometimes I don't know if she likes the drama or if she gets caught in the drama. So <laughs> She's kind of like the go-between because yeah. I don't speak to the brother. <laughs> well, she does. So she, so she does. Yes, yeah. she does. And so it, it, she's, I don't know if she likes it or she just got caught there. <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel like... Uh, I, that's one person you can't vent to. So I guess it's you that she gets to vent to. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, he had a younger, he died years and years ago, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like he's been gone a long time. Because I'm not really getting him, getting him. Your mom's like, I know where he is, type thing. Are we heading south? Are we heading south? Yeah. I get that snowbird feeling like you're going to get the hell out of Dodge for the snow. We've been thinking about it. We've been contemplating. <laughs> I just... It'd be a good winter, too. I don't feel like we some snow this year, so... I just get that in the south. It's getting harder and harder for you guys to get, enjoy the outdoors in the wintertime. Uh, <laughs> you, I just get the aches and pains, joints, and you with the breathing. So, um, if you've got a, an opportunity to go, take it. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says so.
not a pile. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're warm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anything particular? I think the biggest thing, again, what you brought with your, with your mom, I think that's the number one. Yeah. It just, you know, I wanted to know about her. Yeah, she's doing good. She's having a whole time now. With her, both, with her, with your dad and her companion. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny what she made. made it very clear as companion. Yeah. I know, you know, I... After he had passed, I'd go to, you know, we'd go down to visit her and naturally kids, you know. Yeah. I, I said, well, he, he thought he had him a sugar mama. Mm -hmm. She's going to take care of her, and he up and died first. And we came to see you last time. You said this other man was there with my dad and said he said to you, he did love her too. Okay. <laughs> it was James. <laughs> They're all hanging out together. <laughs> And you're doing good. She said, like, I feel good. I feel like you're, as far as health-wise, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried there. But I'm, getting a, I'm getting a worried feeling that at one point you were, you're all, things were a little off-wire. Mm -hmm. But everything seems to be working good. You getting anything from my dad? Uh, actually, I'm not really. I'm getting that your mom has, like, stepped up and they, they're here, but she's not. Oh. Uh, She's being selfish. She's going like, you want to hear from me? So that's <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, And she hasn't been there that long, so your the, the two father figures might be just feeding her their their energy, where she can stay longer. Because she's only been there. She's not been there that long. Um, she's learning how to use that energy. And I gotta tell you, she's using a lot of it to make herself look nice. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's, all, that's what I wanted to know. Because you went so, you know, mm -hmm. un unexpected. Mm -hmm. That's why you... She was ready. Yeah. God forbid she ever got bedridden or got a burden. Yeah, she never uh, do that. <coughs> I would pity whoever would take care of her. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't have done it right. <laughs> <laughs> I just get even, you know, I'm seeing my father. The last couple of weeks, he just got so, he'd go out in the garage, work for a little bit, come in and sit down. He said, I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like she just, if she got through the dishes, she'd have to sit down like, I'm just, I'm just tired. Is your tape set? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, she, she got the point she just couldn't, you know, the point could do anything. And her bowels quit working on her. And that point ended up taking her, and you know, she's gassed up. And, yeah. They just are shut down, and, mm -hmm. and you know we went to be with her, watch her down there, and I, you know, I told her, I, said, I don't want to watch her die. Yeah. You know, so I said my goodbyes to her. You would, actually, if you were there, there, you might have. She would have fought harder to not to go. So this way, and there would have been no reason for her to stay. I told her, I told her, when you say goodbye to mom, it's probably going to be the last time I would see her. And we got home on Friday, and Sunday she's dead. You know. She just, the two gentlemen came and got her. And... Does she, is she, is she all right with the way she went? Oh, yeah, I mean, it was the way, it was. The way it was supposed to go. Okay. I don't get like she was. I don't think she was really in pain. I think you know they got enough. They had her comfortable, or because I don't get an agony. Well, yeah. She wasn't really comfortable when she went. You know, she'd been in bed all day, and my brother and sister showed up at three o'clock, and that. And I still don't get her in major, major pain. I just get like. I get more irritated than I get pain. Yeah, and they made her. They made them get her out of the bed and set her up in the chair. Gas got to her and she couldn't breathe. And she's that's one thing I don't think we remember all that crap when once we we leave. Really good. You know, it's like good. Why? Good. Why would that's not a memory I'd want to take with me. 
Good. So she's at peace. Yeah, yeah. very much at peace. Good. Yep, that's all I wanted to know. Yeah, and I just want to know about my brother because he hasn't spoke to me since my mom passed. I, you know, and and I, I don't want to think he's going to change. He don't. He's not going to change. I've told her that. I don't think it's in him to. It's his guilty conscience. Yeah, yeah I just. He was watch. never here when she was alive, mm -hmm. you know. Now he wants to be the brother or be the. the that's when he got mad. He thought there should be more money somewhere, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was gone. <laughs> poor, poor Ellie, she didn't have... I said, you ought to be glad she had a life insurance to pay, you know, to pay for her funeral. Yeah. Not expect... No, because I'm getting... Whatever, all the expenses were pretty well gone. Yeah. Do you see Petey, her brother, her younger brother? He aggravates <laughs> me to death. I, I'm not getting him to do. You're not getting to do. I just get like he's, he's around. Maybe, maybe he's quit. I keep telling him, Mom, <laughs> please make him quit. Maybe when she passed, let's get PG under control. <laughs> he was just aggravated. Because the first time I ever come and seen you, you said that I had built a shed. Yes, I had. <laughs> And you said, and you put your tools up exactly where you know they're at. And I said, yes. And you said, sometimes they're missed and moved around. I said, yeah. You told me to pee. Why does he do that? <laughs> he just aggravates me to death. Some of them are like that. I tried to tell her. I, said, I, yeah. gave, her, I gave his sister a good life. I, I did the best I could with his mom. I took her in and helped see her go. Yeah. I've done, you know, I've, <laughs> I've done it there. It has got me for anything. just likes doing it. <laughs> anything bad goes on now, I blame it on Pete. Yep. <laughs> well, 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 guys, Wilson, you, you, you've helped me a lot. Uh, you know, so many questions was in my mind, you know. And it's, like I said, my mom was 87. No, she is. She's yeah. always there, yep. you know. And and it's hard. That is terrible. Mother. Well, that's I tell people too because my mother died when I was seventeen, mm. and it was hard. And and your mother, you know, just that, you know, and it was hard. I yeah. said, I don't care how old you are. I said, well, my father died. You know, I was forty-two, thirty-three. He died already. He died at sixty-two. 63, I'm sorry. And, you know, but, and, and I hurt for him and I missed him, but it's just not like mom. Yeah. You know, mom was always there. And and I, we all knew that she was going to go. And that, you know, we rushed. Oh, my, I don't care if you know if it, We rushed you know, a while. And, uh, it, sometimes you think, oh, it's nice when they just drop dead and it's like, good, and it's over with. Yeah. And But then when the, you're still not prepared if they are got the cancer and you know they're going to die. Mm -hmm. So either way, it's not, it's, it's mm -hmm. both, they both suck. But. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes when it's got the, you know, when you know they're going to die, you get to say goodbyes and you know, my mother didn't. She went in the hospital and died on the operating table at 46. So we had her like up the. Well, we and made. I went to bed one night and he was. Did your mom work at Gould's? Yeah. My yeah she worked with her. My mom worked at Gould's. Before her mom passed, you said your mom was here with a bunch of people and is here waiting for her. Mm -hmm. You you've done us a world of good. I'm telling you, I, people all way in Ohio know about you. <laughs> they in California yeah. too. But and they've all been kind of waiting, you know. So yeah, I'm going to see Wilson, and I uh, said so I'll find out when I'm happy. You know, I said my brother, my sister's not quite as skeptical. My brother, he's he's like, he if you die, you're dead. You're like an animal. You just rot away, and it's over. You know. Well, and I, like I told him I felt too many things. I yeah. felt my father come to me. I'm just waiting. I've not felt my mom. Yeah, because it's just that <coughs> you have. You've just been. Yeah, she's been in my mind constantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking at pictures of her, if you're looking at you, no. Know, but if you were just like all of a sudden sitting there watching TV and you're like overwhelmed with mom, that's how she's coming through. Okay. Well, that explains it. 